Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today we're diving into some exciting news about Hades 2 and the generous edge given to its protagonist Melano through the game's death defiance mechanics. Let's explore how these mechanics work and why they make Hades 2 even more thrilling and accessible than its predecessor. In the first Hades game, Zagreus had several ways to cheat death thanks to the death defiance mechanic which revived him upon taking a fatal blow. This mechanic has returned in Hades 2, offering Melano plenty of ways to avoid death. Since Hades 2 is a roguelike game, players' progress resets upon death, making death defiance an invaluable tool against the game's toughest challenges. Just like in the original Hades, players can obtain extra death defiance charges in various ways. Hades 2 introduces the unique Arcana card system, which offers even more opportunities to survive. This game is arguably more generous than the first when it comes to providing ways to cheat death. One of the most reliable methods for obtaining extra death defiance charges in Hades 2 is through unlocking and upgrading the Eternity Arcana card. Eternity may not be the cheapest card to unlock, but 4 Grasp is a small price to pay for its benefits. At its lowest rank, Eternity allows players to start a run with 1 Death Defiance. When fully upgraded, it offers 3 Death Defiance charges, making it a game changer. In addition to Arcana cards, players can equip Keepsakes for extra Death Defiance. Melano can use Shalemius Luckier Tooth Keepsake, which grants 1 extra Death Defiance per night and can be upgraded to replenish more health upon revival. Another option is Moro's Engraved Pin Keepsake, which makes Melano impervious for 10 seconds instead of reviving her. Players must defeat all foes within 10 seconds to stay alive, adding a strategic twist to the game. Furthermore, after making significant progress, players can perform the Faith of Familiar Spirits incantation to summon animal familiars like Tula the Cat or Frinos the Frog. Tula grants Melano extra death defiance charges, though they replenish only a small amount of health. This can still be helpful, especially when a room is nearly cleared. Melano can also gain extra death defiance charges from Boons and the Well of Charon. For example, the Survive 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 Plaintive Echo purchased from Echo Replaces all spent death defiance uses with ones that restore 50% health and magic, though this diminishes over time. Hermes Close Call Legendary Boon provides one use of death defiance and slows everything else down by 90%. Additionally, the Well of Charon offers the Kiss of Sticks, which replenishes one Death Defiance charge. All these methods make Hades too much more generous than the first game in terms of allowing its protagonist to defy death. This is likely a welcome change for players seeking a more accessible and forgiving experience. That's all for today's deep dive into Hades 2's Death Defiance mechanics. Are you excited about the new ways to cheat death in Hades 2? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming news and updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Joystick News.